Hello YouTube, uh, I'm back again after a year. Uh, it's been too long. This is a pop edition. I'll do a metal edition later with the new things I bought in a year or something. Uh, so here we go. It's alphabetically and then uh, also two soundtracks. It's around 20 records, so bear with me if it takes a long time. Uh, the first one is Alan Parsons, uh, Try Anything Once. It's the music on vinyl edition. Uh, it comes with printed inner sleeves, some nice pictures, an artwork of the album and the lyrics on the back. It's a limited edition, it's on a light blue clear vinyl uh, with the tracks on it and custom labels. Just a moment. Uh, then we have Bjork. homogenic it's just on a plain black vinyl also with printed in the sleeves with the lyrics not a huge Bjork fan but I just bought it to listen to it my girlfriend loves it uh, third one is the Isbells uh, it's called Billy uh, with a cool picture from earlier uh, from one of the band members. It's a Belgian band, support your own local bands, I say also always. Uh, then we have the editors in Dreams, and this is uh, the gold vinyl edition, which I think is really cool. They did standard black sleeves, and it's a gold swirly thing. I love the editors, I like their style of music, uh, also got their previous albums. The next one, after a long time, uh, Jean-Michel Jarre is back. I always loved his work, my dad loved him. When I was younger, they li we listened to a lot of Jean-Michel Jarre, Equinox, Oxygen, and all the rest, but he is back after a long time, doing non-electro stuff. Uh, this album is with a lot of guest appearances, it's part one, uh, also part two is out now, uh, I have to get it still. And he's coming to Belgium also to perform. Uh, we went on France, to France on holidays, um, and before we went I listened to a lot of uh, M83 or M83 in French. I, I got a lot of albums of them, this is one of their first ones, uh, always comes mostly with the download code or the CD with it. Um, this is the most popular ones, hurry up, we are dreaming. Uh, MK3 they will always do a lot of soundtracks also, uh, so I think his music's, uh, music comes well with movies and stuff, uh, it's made for it. Another popular one by M. Catervantua is Saturday is You. They always have cool pictures of his albums. And this is uh, his latest effort, Junk. Very funny with the Japanese or Chinese text on the back. Um, another local band is Marble Sound, so I also have all their records. Uh, it's a cool cover and then I discovered when I opened it this. So if you slide the end sleeve up, the guy in the front disappears and is on the back. It's kind of moon shaped figure. Uh, another popular artist is Moby. Um, I got this Hotel Ambient. And this uh, was only available on CD for a long time. I don't like all his music, but I like his more relaxing ambient stuff. So I got this, which is a very cool album. And nice pictures also taken by Moby himself. I didn't know. Uh, but he's a photographer too. 
uh, one of the latest buys I did was uh, Nirvana Best Of. It also exists in a double album with the same songs, but only on 45 RPM then. This is was, uh, was just 10 euros, so I thought, why not? Nirvana listens all my YouTube, too, so. Another album I love is uh, Mike Oldfield, The Songs of Distant Earth. Uh, when I heard this for the first time, I was crazy about it. Only just the first five, six songs and you're addicted to it. Uh, another local or Belgian band uh, is Oscar and the Wolf. This is the first two EPs on one vinyl. It also comes uh, with the CD. And then their recent or latest album uh, is Entity. It comes in a cool plastic cover with the band name and the title printed on the front and then uh, the artwork on the vinyl on the cover is also the artwork of the album. A more known artist is Sam Smith. Also like his songs, a couple of them. Uh, it also was 10 euros, so why not? Uh, another one I've been looking for a long, long time. I paid extra lot of money for it, but I find it worth. Uh, I discovered it thanks to Karsten and it's uh, Susanne Sandford, 10 love songs. Uh, if you hear it on Spotify or on CD and then you listen to this on vinyl, it's a huge difference. I think on vinyl the album comes alive very well. Also with the oh, and their artwork and it comes with the poster Of the album too or other artwork on the poster and the lyrics uh, are on the back as you can see I think everybody is looking for this one because it's out of print that's why I paid I glad I found it that's why we have to pay extra for it um, one month ago I went to London to see Power Quest, uh, which is a yeah, metal, power metal band. They restarted again, I went to the concert, I know the keyboarder of the band and the drummer of the band also. Uh, and when I was there, it was in Camden, I visited the local record shop and I found this one. It's uh, the Kings, the hit singles. I already was looking a long time for it. Uh, and I found a copy that was pretty okay for the price. Another one I like a lot is Steven Wilson. Uh, this one is four and a half. Also with a cool cover when you slide the, the inner sleeve out of it. It's just uh, the prints here on the front. And last but not least two soundtracks. Also a soundtrack from my youth. It's Top Gun. Uh, I listened to lots of it on the radio and when I was driving my, in my car. Uh, and yeah, the song I like the most of it uh, is Danger Zone. And of course, the Top Gun anthem by Howard Falkenmeyer and Steve Stevens. This epic track. And another one, Guilty Pleasure, is Pulp Fiction. Uh, great movie, great songs on it. So this was it for the non-metal version. I do a metal version later, I don't know why, uh, when, but uh, it's a lot of more records of course. So see you later, subscribe, uh, like the video, share it, do whatever you want with it. Goodbye and stay metal.